What's going on, pirates? <laughs> the King Hunter channel is back with more Plunder Pirates. <laughs> Plunder Pirate. <laughs> this is a special episode that we're going to do dedicated for the heavy. Okay. The heavy gunner. The unit that was really trying to unlock. I wasn't really sure because after checking the stats, I wasn't really thrilled with the idea of unlocking that unit plus the fact that uh, upgrading the academy to level 5 it was kind of like a pain in the butt <laughs> just because uh, I was kind of kind of short in time to play so doing all those attacks and trying to get the I don't remember 7500 battle points or something like that if I'm not wrong uh, it's just ridiculous Ooh, look at that ghost ship is in the map Ooh, so f for that one I need to probably upgrade my skelly wax and probably my priestesses those are the two units that are really good against ghost ships but I need to I think there is a special update upgrade and I need to get first before going against those crazy and spooky ships right but anyway like I said this episode is gonna be dedicated to the heavy gunner and uh, Let's take a look real quick to what's going on in here. There you go. Okay. A very tough pirate armor with a devastating weapon. It is devastating, but the problem is that at the beginning, the damage is quite low. I mean, I prefer probably a bunch of uh, gunners instead of the heavy gunner at this point. Uh, the damage of 12 is really low. And the toughness, well, let's say it's just all right. Okay. But the good thing about the heavy gunners is that most of the upgrades are big, big upgrades or of uh, toughness and damage. And the special ability Metal Storm special ability is time to unleash hell. I, I just can't wait to see that one in action. I haven't seen that one. Um, but like I show in the academy, most of the upgrades are dedicated for toughness and damage. And, and when, once the damage start like uh, increasing and also the range. I can see the heavy gunner being a really, really useful, useful character. Uh, until, until I get to that point, it is difficult. I'm going to start upgrading my heavy gunner so we can try again in, in future videos. So, well, I don't think I have any heavy gunner in this uh, army of pirates that I have. So I'm just going to probably go and attack somebody just to get rid of the units that I have. And then we can make some room for those heavy gunners and it's always important to try all the units um, the reason I want to unlock the heavy gunners is because uh, when I start playing this game I start playing this game since day one um, I was really frustrated because I believe it was the second the second or the third day somebody attacked me the second or the third day of the game release something like that one of those days it was like a really early. It was probably the first week. Somebody attacked me with heavy gunners. And I was so pissed. I'm like, oh my god, how the hell you have this unit unlocked? There is no, no way. Unless you probably were part of the probably a beta tasting. Um, and maybe your account was able to roll over the final release of the game. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But since then, I re and I, my base was such a joke <laughs> back in the day that those heavy gunners destroyed me I mean it was just painful I mean, those guys were walking like a freaking terminator like a, just bringing down every every building so um, that's probably the main reason that I wanted to unlock the heavy gunner and really try it okay um, I was like I said a little bit concerned of the damage but um well, to be quite honest, it's, it's just um, it's one of those units that you need to develop in order to appreciate a little bit more. It's like a, the um, the Voodoo Doctor, right? Because uh, at the beginning, it's, it's not useful at all. I mean, it dies extremely fast. It doesn't do anything, anything that can make it feel worth it. Um, Especially because the amount of grog that you have to pay, but once that you start upgrading that unit, is it, it changed completely? It changed completely. Which doctor can change completely? And then, uh, uh, Voodoo Doctor? Did I call it Voodoo Doctor? Well, I get which doctor, Voodoo Doctor. Eh, I guess it's probably in the same range, right? <laughs> um, once that you upgrade that unit, now it's um, 
is one of my favorite but I, I can't use it all the time I just use it when uh when I'm I'm in the mood to start attacking bases and not looking for loot because they're so so expensive it's not even funny but well that is um, another unit that we're gonna try in the future one more time so don't worry about it here comes the skelly wax bringing down the pirate ship Let's hurry up guys we need to go and get ready with it heavy gunner um in this episode we're just gonna try the heavy gunner in like a random ways um so let's not get too tactical in this video okay because uh i want to basically show you this unit in action i believe it will work really good again with the juggernaut because uh, well the juggernaut you know it has so many hit points it's just ridiculous um the heavy gunner probably could be a decent addition to that army but um like i said in this in this episode we're just gonna try the heavy gunner and even when it's just level one but i want to try in a couple attacks so we can take a look and see how actually help right so let's get into action let's deploy let's plunder time let's see if we can make a hole in here with my juggernaut i don't want to deploy my my brutes jet that's something that we're gonna do in, in the future um like i say probably after the holidays because uh, you know december is so short i mean it is it's really difficult to to schedule things on december but i'm really planning to to make more videos and more often uh videos of plunder pirate okay so we're gonna do a lot of nights of like a raid and uh, we're gonna try some special raids if you guys have any suggestion want to try something i'm doing my best to attack and um collect as much grog as possible because that's what i need at this point uh to continually upgrading my units my heavy gunners are doing a decent job but still the range is too short okay so i can see if the heavy gunner has more range will be more useful right now it still is receiving damage from those mortars and that's something that i don't like uh, if it's a range unit, you really expect the you really expect the the juggernaut and the brute to receive most of the damage, right? Uh, if, if a mortar is attacking you, but unfortunately the range of the heavy gunner, the default range is so it's not that great. So see, it receives some of the splash damage, and that's something that is not good. So I believe that once that we upgrade this unit a little bit more, are you shooting my juggernaut, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing you crazy dude? <laughs> oh my god, if I take a picture of that I can probably send it to Midoki and tell him look at you look at you guys doing huh? now my units are killing each other <laughs> Let's just surrender. We got some decent not that decent loot, but it was a, like a first quick crazy attack with a heavy gunner Like I say we, if we upgrade the damage mm, Then things are gonna get more interesting so as soon as I finish upgrading the unit a little more, we're gonna do some special episodes. For example, I'm gonna do a special episode of the uh, the the thief one more time because when I when I try the first time, um, well, just just did a couple raids and that's it. I never really spend much time because I really I didn't really like it the unit. But now that I'm upgrading, now that I have the special ability of the of the thief, yeah, that's that's another story. It's, it's really really fun to use it, and they, they destroy, they destroy resources building. Trust me in that one. You guys are gonna go insane when we, when once we start doing videos about that, right? So let's try to make a hole in here. Hopefully, those juggernauts will be able to get out of there. That's one of the problems. You need to find a way to to break them there inside the base as soon as possible i'm gonna try to deploy this sky raiders bringing down buildings the problem is that the mortars are still attacking everybody so you gotta be more careful um here comes the heavy gunners okay those brutes oh those brutes are starts doing the bring them on way too close to my range units and that that's not good that is not good oh yeah yeah it's gonna be painful but you know what that's that's how you learn okay the the the, the way that you can get better in all these strategy games is just trying and testing like that's what i was just saying that the, when i was playing with thief at the beginning i really 
I really didn't like it. It was just... It wasn't doing anything for me. I prefer to have more Buccaneers or Gunners instead of Thieves. But now that I'm, I'm upgrading the units, now that I, I have more experience and how to attack enemy bases, okay, that's a complete, complete different story. So now we can use it in a better way. So they deserve a second chance. Um, questions a lot of people are asking me what is better, a Juggernaut or a Brute? Um, well, the Juggernauts are tougher. That's that's a given. Ooh, hopefully those heavy gunners are going to survive because the mortar is going to try to bring... Okay, that was the heavy gunner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the heavy gunner. <laughs> the Juggernauts are extremely powerful. Really, really good. Uh, but the problem that they attack anything... Is, is sometimes if you don't deploy in the correct way, you can probably have a tough, tough time. You're not gonna really enjoy it. We got a lot of loot in this one, so <laughs> that's 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 good. That's a payoff. Um, but um, but anyway, I, I prefer the, the the brute. I think it's a combination. I don't have that many brutes now. Let's go for a crazy, crazy attack with a lot of heavy gunners and see what happens, right? Let's do this, this. Let's try the unit like a <laughs> in crazy mode, in insane pirate mode. Um, the brood is gonna attack uh, defensive buildings first, so that's why I like it. Uh, I like to bring him on, but you gotta be careful if you deploy too many brutes and you start using the bring him on. All those units are gonna be uh, they're not gonna attack for the time that the ability is taking place. So that's a big loss, okay? So that's why I probably suggest to have like a, no, not four brutes uh, and go with the maximum of Juggernaut. I think the maximum is 10. Um, I think that's probably a good combination because otherwise you, you can waste a lot of time uh, with the bring him on, okay? And uh, instead of being attacking more units. The Priestess is also another one that I need to um, upgrade a little bit more. Because the uh, special ability of stunning uh, defensive building is something that I have to try. I have to try. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. Uh, we got a bunch of heavy gunners in here pushing forward with the Juggernaut. Um, I think we're doing all right. I think at least we're stealing some resources. Well, not really. 6% damage. What? Yeah, that's the problem. And again, the range is so, so short right now that they are getting nailed by the mortars. That's something that I don't, don't appreciate. Why are you guys are going, man? Why are you guys shooting a wall now? Oh, you guys shooting that one. Hmm. Instead of going over there, I help. No, now, now you just are being silly. Now you're just silly, man. What are you guys doing? Making holes now? What are you guys doing? Where are you guys going now? <laughs> Apparently, the best way to to attack in Plunder Pirates is always diversity, okay? Um, rates of only one kind of unit doesn't really work. There is a reason that every pirate has a special role. So that's why you need to combine them the uh, best way possible in order to be more successful attacking enemies. That mortar, again, ooh, I like that. Lateral movement of the heavy gunners probably gonna bring down that mortar. That would be awesome. Nice job. Nice job. Not too bad Not too bad the Oh, that's still in range of the The cannon so that's that's not helping That's not helping at all See oh these guys are not gonna probably make it for too long <laughs> as soon as they get in they're probably gonna get destroyed by that cannon That's a given um, Yeah, the, I at this point, I would probably suggest you to... Yeah, you can, of course, try them. Just play around with those units for a few. But uh, I will suggest you to... To get some... Try to use more the gunners for now. Until you level up this unit. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be painful. Okay? We just we just saw that the range is not that great. The, 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 the damage is not great at all. And uh, the hit points are... It's nothing, nothing amazing. It's only 200 and something. So, anyway, let's go for another crazy attack. Uh, but up, um, 
I know we just like I say and just trying to deploy this unit in different situations with different combination of units is not the way I used to play the way that I like to play but again this is uh, the idea of my videos is to show people uh, units and then we, we're gonna have this fun episode we're just gonna try crazy stuff um, not paying much attention about the strategy and some other episodes are gonna be more concentrating attacks and um, looting strategies and stuff like that all right so let's see if we can attack this base from here try to avoid a bunker and hopefully we'll be able to reach that mm, the mortar as soon as possible you can the juggernaut this brutus or brutes in the backward not too bad trying to leave <sighs> some Space. I need a gap between the juggernaut and the heavy gunner, so otherwise they're gonna die too too fast. So that's something that you have to be careful when you deploy those units. Okay, at least they're reaching the mortar, which is the well the first target that you need to you need to have. You see, right now the bring him on is freezing all my brutus, my brutes, brutus, a brutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and that's that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. You lose precious seconds. I mean, if you can have like a two or three of those units doing the bring them on, is fine. So at least you have the juggernaut doing something else. But all, otherwise, it's mm, mm, gotta be careful. All right, let's see if Mister Witch Doctor can revive. Oh man, <laughs> you got in the wrong direction. Oh, I was expecting to go close to the. The pirate hole so I can um, I can probably revive a couple skeletons but I guess our witch doctor decide to go and assist the heavy gunner that is not doing anything so what a waste what a waste and unfortunately like I said the, 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 the witch doctor is so so expensive it's not even funny so I, I can I can see future in the heavy gunner I can see that we can we're gonna use it in the future. That's that's for sure. But uh, it's gonna take a while for me before because we're gonna I'm gonna probably upgrade that unit before even trying to use it again. Yeah, this guy is having a really fun time with the witch doctor just shooting the ship. Look at that. The the the, the damage is negative. It's nothing. It's nothing. So that's one of the things that, I, like I said, I wanted to show you these uh, episodes and uh, videos because sometimes people get too too excited about <laughs> for example a new unit um and i got people in my alliance asking me about the heavy gunner say well you know what? i'm gonna make a video and let's see what happens i'm not th really thrilled about it hopefully in the future you're gonna have some like guess more something new or maybe redone the the skills or something but we'll see that's something that i um I can't really I can't really anticipate because like I say it's all about the upgrading these units in order to get maximum maximum benefits right so let's see if we can make up probably the last crazy raid of the night just see one more time the heavy gunner in action and uh, probably the next episode we're gonna start doing attacks and real attacks okay like a dedicated attacks to destroy bases um, trying to get as much grog as possible because that's what I need right now uh, right now in this episode I'm just yeah, just trying so I'm just, just deploying I just want to make sure you guys can see the heavy gunner in action basically um, this is the problem that I was mentioning about the yoga now they just go for anything so if there is any building before any and in any location is they're just gonna attack whatever it is uh the bombers are were your best friend at this point because they start running like crazy maniacs and uh, <laughs> and those guys can help you to bring down those walls in two seconds that's that's something that i really like about my bombers and i, I think i'm gonna finish i really i think i really finished the other upgrade of the 20 plus 20 damage hmm, i'm gonna just double check that but that that's really useful really 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 useful okay something happened in there i used the bring him on and nothing happened i mean my brutes are just attacking the cannon which is 
which is fine. Okay, just just fine. I, I, I rather use these units destroying buildings that using them as a decoy. That well, is it, useful, of course, but that you gotta be careful on how many of those units you're really gonna use for as a decoy. You really need some units doing damage, also, right? And the juggernaut, the problem that they have is that even when they're powerful, they're really slow. They're really slow. So, anyway, let's see if these guys can bring down those cannons. Uh, hopefully, that will be the case. That was a much, much better attack. The heavy gunner, I don't know why he's trying to aim. Uh, say, oh, okay, he's finally aiming the, the mortar. Great. Now the gunners will be able to bring down the pirate hole and get the victory. Finally. Because too many, <laughs> too many experiments and... Uh, we were losing a couple fights, but that's a matter. That's that's part of my philosophy. Philosophy as a gamer, and just here to have fun and show you, um, trying to help you people to to learn more about games. Trying to give you some tips and strategies, stuff like that. So that was a much much better. Got some extra grog. Grog is gonna help me right now to start. Um, Getting ready for the next upgrades for my units, especially the heavy gunners. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the Pirate, the Game Hunter, signing off!